And you know, former GOP Congresswoman Liz Cheney is holding her party accountable in her new book, Oath and Honor. She writes that you know who and other Republicans <laughs> knew he lost fair and square, but fell in line to try and keep him in office anyway. She also reveals that her father, Dick Cheney, told her that she was in danger on January 6th because you know who called her out by name. And that Kevin McCarthy <laughs> ran. <laughs> ran <laughs> to Mar Lago after the election because staffers said, you know who was so depressed, he wasn't eating. <laughs> you, know, you know, Whoopi, I was thinking, Whoop, next year, no lasagna for you. I'm sending it to Donald. <laughs> He's so hungry, poor thing, is not eating. I, I know, and, and Kevin McCarthy felt so strong. What, what was he going to breastfeed him? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just makes no sense uh -huh. to me. But the book is <laughs> arriving as billionaire conservative pack, the Coke Bro Network. <laughs> endorses Nikki Haley for president. So what is happening with the GO? I just have to say, what is going on <laughs> over there? Going on? Well, uh, first and foremost, I just want to once again thank Liz Cheney for being one of the few people with the courage to actually say the truth about yeah. Donald Trump. That's right. I'm dying to read this book. Um, I know I personally wouldn't have had the courage to continually be critical of Trump and come forward and tell the truth about how unfit he was if not for Liz Cheney, who was one of the first people I talked to and who inspired me and many others who've spoken out. But she highlights something really important in the excerpt that came out, where it shows that she, this, there's this member of Congress, Mark Green, who refers to Donald Trump as orange Jesus. I witnessed this, but then goes on to support him and to defend him publicly. I witnessed this for years, where Republicans would privately mock him. They would talk about how he was unfit, but then they would publicly boast about him. And you may be asking why. Well, just this morning, I see this tweet on, uh, or this post on Twitter about how Elise Stefanik was bragging in the House Republican conference meeting that she received a 25% bump in donations when she put a Trump badge on her, like, social media page. It's about money and power. It's about continuing to stay in the fold of power. The only hope that I have left is this. I know you guys don't love Nikki Haley. I, she's not perfect, but she's who I'm for right now is inching up on Trump in Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina. She's second place in all those. She did get this big endorsement. I suspect she's going to get more uh, major endorsements coming. Anyone is better than Donald Trump. You guys, I think, could acknowledge that even head-to-head, -head, acknowledging Rachel Maddow said, Donald Trump has a 50% chance of winning once it's a general election. Nikki Haley is not a danger to democracy the way Donald Trump is. That's I true. hope she can pull yeah. that That's off. That's true. Well, I would agree with that part. Know, I'm not going to vote for her anyway. Right, but, but yeah. yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> but that's, that's all. That's all. I, take it. I, I think. I think she's a, a flip flopper. And and I, I and and what you're saying in in essence is a lot of these people are flip floppers. I mean, they have they lack a moral compass. And 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 I don't think that someone that lacks a moral compass should be in a position of power in this country to protect our democracy. And and, and that really just is the bottom line for me. Um, but what I and Liz Cheney voted with. Trump 93% of the time, so I don't think that her policies, even if she were to run for president, because she's left that door open, actually, um, even after all the things she did for Janu uh, on the January 6th committee, I don't think her policies are helpful to the people in this country that need help the most. Yeah, but she will uphold the Constitution. She will she do will that. She will preserve the democracy. The bare minimum. She, she, It'll be like the old days when Eisenhower and, and you know, even Reagan were in power. We didn't worry that the whole country was going to fall apart. Reagan Reaganomics really hurt a lot of this country. I know. And, I it, know and, it, and it increased the, the, the racial disparity in, in wealth. But one last thing, I really love a good cup of tea. And Liz Cheney is spilling the tea in this book. <laughs> just from the excerpts. And I will be reading it, too, regardless of whether or not she voted with Trump 90% yeah, of the time. Because right, right. it's going to be juicy. Well, and I think the step for the Koch brothers, who are big donors, them mm -hmm. going with someone other than Trump was hopeful for to me. Because the Republican candidates are not wooing this table. This is not exactly a right. conservative table. So they are going after people like Alyssa, that can vote in the primaries, and independents like myself. And when I look at what our options are, I'm reassured that is the numbers are showing nationally that there's not it's not really close and that Donald Trump's the guy. In these states that matter, like Iowa, like yeah. New Hampshire, those are the people that have gotten the majority of the campaigning, the majority of these candidates, full, up, close, and personal. And those numbers
numbers are getting closer. So I'm at the point now where I, I'm, again, uh, uh, Nikki Haley might be wooing my, us as independent and a conservative, but they are not trying to sell this table. And I would take a Nikki Haley any day over a Donald Trump. Yeah, well, but that's the thing. It's like they, oh, they, the legal team, this is something I want, I want to ask you, because yeah. his legal team is saying that he shouldn't be barred from being on the ballot in Colorado. This is Trump. Yes. Um, because he, bar him from because he didn't technically violate the 14th Amendment. Their yes. argument is that Trump did not take an oath to support the Constitution of the United States. That's yes. their argument. Yes. So does that mean he really was never president? <laughs> what I mean... That, that's actually been one of the worst legal arguments that I've heard when yeah. it comes to the 14th Amendment. The 14th Amendment of the Constitution provides that if you participated in an insurrection, you can no longer hold office. Right. We now know that he did participate in the insurrection. He admitted and so it. I, he's well, a, and he, he's also wrong. Yes, well, Keep in mind that they don't. That just because you're telling the truth does not matter very much no. these days. And I have to Sadly. tell you, you know, I, I, I hear everything you're saying, but what I want is I want whoever's going to stand for us. The American people. Yeah. I don't mind having, I don't mind Republican, Democrat. I don't mind it because it gives us an argument. But when you are not taking us into consideration, it's about holding on to power, you're a danger. All of you. Not, I, when yeah. I say yeah, all yeah. of you, I don't mean you. But I. I Collectively. She's not saying you in danger, girl. You in danger, girl. You in danger, girl. But, I, uh, but that's my biggest concern, because, you know, when you're talking about <laughs> women's stuff, I need her to be specific. I need, I need to know where she stands on education. I need to know where she... Because we have a lot to rebalance in this country. Yes, we do. And I, and I, yeah. and I don't mind that she's a Republican, but I need to know where but she stands. But will we ever know the truth about her, even? Because Nikki she, Haley, no. We, you may not ever know but where we she cannot, stands, the because thing is, she's a political animal, and she goes where so the world goes. Everyone in D.C. is a political animal. We cannot animal. lose sight. Guys, Donald Look Trump is unique. With integrity, finally. Where we is can't that lose sight of the fact that Donald Trump is uniquely Obama unfit, I would tell you anyone is safer than that man being in office. Well, you don't, I don't listen, know that we'll have another I, I, election. I tr listen, I was the one that said to the table, this guy's going to win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I saw what people were doing. I saw how they were drinking him up. I know she's got a legal note, but I'm going to finish my thing, okay? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it is, it's important to me that whoever it's going to be, if they have our best interests, they're not going to please me all the time. But if they have our best interests at heart and they follow the Constitution, I know it's old-fashioned, but I like the law. <laughs> I like but the law. You see, his, the problem is that the MAGA base believes that he has their best interests. And he yes, in the but, there's, but there's not the as many of them yes. as there are of us. Yes. Regardless of yes. what people yes. are saying, yes. we outnumbered. I'm sorry. I, please, oh, no. you, you have a, you have a note and I'm you. getting the face. Our, our government needs the help the least of us, we not, the, not the people us. at the top. Just the American people, we need the help. You know? We need somebody who we don't have to be afraid and don't press a button. Can we have some health care? Anyway, okay, yeah, I have a legal note. It, yes. Trump has denied any wrongdoing in state and federal criminal cases. He has pleaded not guilty to all charges. Trump's <laughs> spokesman <laughs> said that Liz Cheney's book belonged in the fiction section of the bookstore and that they're nothing more than fabricated stories. <laughs> Said the liar in chief. <laughs> <laughs>